individual has made her way into the building and she's trying to force herself through the metal detector. Like, I'm not even interested in reading the federal law. I'm just. Welcome back, everybody. J Town Press. We're here today for an update for the U.S. Citizenships and Immigration Office there in Jacksonville, Florida. I finally got back the 911 calls and also the body cam footage from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that showed up, Officer Lytle. And you're not going to believe what they said. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you check out that pinned comment or the description. It's got a lot of information about this video and also about this channel. Probably answer a lot of your questions. Make sure you go over there and check out the J-Town memberships and be a J-Mem for as little as 99 cents a month. Here's a quick recap in case you guys forgot what happened. It was almost two months ago. I implore you to go over there and check out the full live stream and also the other videos. They'll be linked in the description and the pinned comment. That way you can see the lies that these people are telling this officer. And here we go. Well, your rules right here actually say right here that you can do it. Uh, this is this is public property, sir. Yeah, you need to, first you need to have an appointment to be in the building. So you just, well, this is an op this is open to the public. You need to have is this not open to the public? I I'm asking you. No, it's not. You need to have that. I I'm asking you. Don't. Hey, hey, get off my camera. Get off my camera. Turn the camera. Get off my camera. Do not touch me. Turn the camera. Do not touch me. Come back outside this door. So can you tell him to back off so I can peacefully talk to you? Peacefully talk to you. Can you please ask him to step over there? It's not allowed inside. Go. Your rules and regulations are posted right on the outside of the door. Why don't you go read them yourself, sir, right now? What are you here for? For news purposes. I'm gathering content for a story, and I'm also trying to do a public records request. Here. Okay. You'll notice if you watch the entire live stream, this is the closest that I get to the security checkpoint over here. I never make an attempt to force my way through the security checkpoint. I even told them several times that I was there to be peaceful, news gathering, and I've even pointed out the law that was on their wall that gave me the right to do that. And I also had it printed out in my pocket. When you listen to the 911 calls and also the body cam, you'll understand why I'm pointing these things out. <clears throat> I'm curious too. They don't care if I go in this corner, but for some reason, this corner's bad. This corner's real bad. I went through the entire live stream, and this is the only time that I can find that I mention the security checkpoint. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Just make sure you provide a timestamp. It's an iPhone. Let that sink in. It's not like I'm armed like they are. <laughs> They'd know it if they let me through the security, that I have no weapons. But they want to get, they want to get hands on. So peace gets met with force. Sheriff's Office, here we are. Hi, this is Operator 229 with Federal Protective Service. I was wondering if I could get um, units to respond out to one of our federal buildings for an individual who's refusing to leave property. What's the address? It's going to be 4121 South Point Boulevard. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian. She's a white female, approximately 5 foot 8, wearing a black shirt, blue jeans, approximately 190 pounds. She is in the lobby at this location. Um, she has a camera and is recording, and they're not allowed to do so. She's been asked to leave and is refusing. And they said that she is being verbally assaultive, but not like physically. And I'm sorry, what's the name of the security company? Federal Protective Service. Do you have an ID number, ma'am, or a last name? My operator number is 229. What's the callback number for you guys? 877-825-9334. Okay, I'll send someone out there as soon as I can. Okay, what's your operator number? 77269. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Approximately ETA by chance? I don't, ma'am. Unfortunately, we don't have ETAs. Okay, no, nope, that's fine. I was just asking. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome, Bob. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Taylor. Okay, this is your Protective Service. Uh, your volume is extremely low, but the background is extremely loud. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Hello? Sorry about that. Um, this is Operator 69 of Federal Protective Service. I am calling from about 4121 South Point Boulevard in Jacksonville. I had units dispatched there for an individual that's refusing to leave. I have an update for you guys. Um, What's the address again? 4121? South Point Boulevard. Okay, what's the uh, update? The individual has made her way into the building and she's trying to force herself through the metal detector. Okay, trying to force her way into the metal detector? Like through the metal detector because they have her like where she would have to be stopped to be screened. Mm -hmm. 
and she's like refusing to leave, but she's like trying to force her way through it so that she can just like get into the building. Okay. She's in the, she's like in the lobby part, but she's trying to like get through the metal detector. Okay. All right, I've added that update to the call. All right, thank you. And what's your operator number? Seventy-two fifty-six. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. This here is actually off the police report from Officer Lytle. And right here, you can see right here, it says, attempted to bypass the security metal detector to continue filming. I implore you to watch the entire live stream and I beg you to find one time and please provide the timestamp because it didn't happen. Uh, 295 off ramp at Old St. Augustine. I'm gonna attempt to push him out of the roadway or block. Hey! What's going on? Is this about some person trying to get through security? Yeah, she, that, that female out there with the black t-shirt and the jeans shorts. What's she doing? She came through here without an appointment. Okay. Without showing any type of identification. Okay. And she started filming in this area. So, their policy is that they need to have an appointment to enter the building. Right. Show some type of identification. Okay. Right. There's no, there's, the filming inside the, this building is prohibited. And as I said, our ceremony room in the back. Okay. Which would probably be for an applicant getting involved. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Right. We're for anywhere outside. Okay. So, we asked her to leave. And she refused right. to leave. She was here for over an hour. Yeah, I got is she, is she, is she? Right. You know the First Amendment people that are doing Oh, oh so that's what, that, that, that's what she's trying to do? So is she trying to get, is she trying to get an appointment? Or what is she? No. Yeah. She was saying just something about. Just want to get in and film. Yeah. Yeah. Right to go. I mean. She was interested in some food no information. Is she one of those, um. First Amendment. What's the what? She claims to be a news reporter. What what's the term that they use? Those um. People, no, the people that don't believe that any of the rights are. Yeah. She might be. No. Fun. Okay. Well, I will go talk to her and tell her she needs to scram and she needs to abide by y'all's rules because I can see it says this is <laughs> federal property. Like, don't be making a scene here on like on government property. It's not the place. And our business because they were acting outside. Mm. They were almost out of power. Mm. I see. Okay. Let me go talk to her. I'm sure I'll be back and then talking to y'all. See what it is. Uh huh. No worries. And to save time, I'm not going to play the interaction that Officer Lytle and I had. You can actually go check the description in the pinned comment. I'll leave that link to that video so you can hear what happened. Hey, you got a minute? Okay, so my body cam's on. I'm out here at Im Im the U.S. Citizen Im Immigration Services, and apparently this lady is trying to go to security to do a public records request. She's got a body cam on. She's got her cell phone on. She's actually videotaping me when I'm in my car right now. She's saying that we don't have jurisdiction, and it's just that it's her First Amendment rights to basically do a, do a public re records request. So... I'm not really sure what this... She's what now? She's, well, she's literally out front of my car right now. She's got a body cam strapped around her chest. She's got her cell phone on. She's was trying to go through federal immigration to do a public records request, was videotaping, um, saying it's CFR or whatever, that she's allowed to videotape um, per their state statutes and whatnot. And... She, she just she's just out here videotaping, trying to do a public records request, and said, like this, this her she's le legally allowed to do it. It's like, well, you can you can do a public mm -hmm. records request, but you don't go through security. Yeah. Yeah, she's saying that it doesn't violate the law and it doesn't violate the state statutes and that it's posted and stuff up on the wall. Like, I'm not even, like, I'm not even interested in reading the federal law. What did he just say? Let's listen to that one more time. Like, I'm not even interested in reading the federal law. I'm just going based off of what the federal officers were telling me. What did the federal officers tell you? The federal officer said that she was in there, she was videotaping them, that she was making a scene, and then she tried to, she tried to go through security, because, and then they, she eventually left. 
or head stuff, head stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's that's basically if ever go on the road to the state of Florida. Yeah. I don't see how you would file it just like a federal law or not. Because you won't get it with a gun. Right. Just because the state statute says we can't. Yeah, yeah. We can't file it the federal protocol. So what's your question? Her, she, she, she's, she, no, she's just out here videotaping. Like, that's all she's doing is just videotaping. Like, she doesn't have a question. She's just videotaping me while I'm sitting in my car talking to you. That's fine. Let her videotape. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it, is it just a 63? Yeah, just a, just a 63. I mean, she's, they said she tried to go, to go to security and was making a scene. Their policy was that they don't like, they don't like having anything videotaped unless it's for a ceremony. So, unless it's for a ceremony, like, you know, when they're getting sworn and they're getting naturalized and whatnot. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that's their system. We're going to do what they say. Yeah. It's not our building. Yeah. So, I... I if you don't like it, then you tell her to... You tell her to get the parents in. Yeah. The men are the men. That's not their building. Mm-hmm. I have no jurisdiction with inside that building. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll, 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 t- I'll tell her that then. Just, I'll just tell her, hey, don't be, don't be walking up in there trying to go to security. It's their rules, not mine. So, all right, well. I mean, it's kind of like, is this, is this like going to be an ongoing thing? Like, I've never, I don't know if she's like a sovereign citizen or if she's. No, mm-mm. Because basically, it's basically it's just a consensual encounter, you know. Did they consensual the Maybe you get your name from the feds. Maybe they'll give it to you. Yeah, she, they might. So. They may have it. They do. They just get it in there and put it in. Uh, put it in ninety four. Put it in one two. Just document that she's kind of a pain in the butt, and she comes back up here again. Yeah. They may want to trespass. You can say, hey, I was there before. Yeah, she uh, she keeps trying to videotape inside, and they tell him she's telling him, or he's telling him, and she can't. Yeah. But all right. Not just ten eight, it's just a sixty three. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I just wanted to run it by you because I've actually never had this in, this encounter. Like someone who's got like like just basically she's trying to start trouble is what it is. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to get somebody up. So just just mind your piece of cash because she's on tape. Just wait. Yeah. You're on tape. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with the, there's nothing wrong with us being taped. I mean, we we do it ourselves. So. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to her. Yeah. All right. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, sir. Bye bye. Again, time savings, go check the link. Watch our interaction. So you, Mind you, your encounter was as pleasurable as ours. I don't, I don't understand, but whatever. So I called my sergeant, ran it by him, because this is federal property, not local. So we crossed that bridge, she comes back here tomorrow. I told her, do not go through that security thing right there. She I, not to. Yeah. So y'all have dealt with her before then? No, this is the first time we've dealt with her here. Oh. She knows not to go through that okay. security. Yeah, she was, she was saying that whatever CFR thingy it is, she's allowed to photograph lobbies, entrances. I told her do not go through that security thing because clearly that's the breach of security. Y'all can do what y'all gotta do. She was saying she was gonna make a formal complaint about some security guard battering her. Like, you're going through security. I mean, they're allowed to get you out. So, yeah. It's federal property. So, y'all can. But, like I said, yeah. So, and she she was asking me like, would I be like removing her from here to there? But this is federal property, and that y'all can shed some light. Is it the building or is it the parking lot? The whole thing. Okay. okay. This is, this is my second time being here. So when it comes to federal property and local property, that's where it actually gets muddy. It's like, where's the jurisdiction at? So. 
<laughs> With that being said, she should be leaving. I don't know her last name. Did y'all get her last name? Uh, what, what about she? she didn't didn't say anything about her name. Okay. Yeah. So. Have y'all dealt with people like that before? Yeah. So, I don't know if how do people come in here for a public records request? Not here. They have to make appointments for that. Okay. 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 Because she's using the federal laws and whatnot to say that it's law in the Constitution. So, all right. Well. And this is y'all. Those are your, those are your guys' rules. So if you guys make the rules, you guys enforce them. So. I will be I will be making a report on this. This will be documented. So, because I don't think this is going to be the end of it, it's going to be a repeat issue. Okay. She wouldn't give it to me. Yeah, she. I don't think it's mine. Yeah. A quick. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like a Google search or YouTube search a little later on today. We'll show the whole thing and we'll get her information. Yeah. Because so she's not in this to be. Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm doing okay. I, I thought you would escape <laughs> because they told me she was already gone, but she was in the parking lot waiting for you. Mm -hmm. You know, videotaping me, body cam. No, I mean it's no big deal. I mean, I'm sure I'll we'll make it on. YouTube or whatnot. I don't really care. I mean, this is on too, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so she wants to do a public records request on me. She can. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. Y'all didn't do anything wrong. I just have never encountered somebody who is acting like that. Well, she came here with a mission. Clearly, that she was going to stay here until closing time when we would feel free to ask her to leave. So that was her plan when she showed up here. Okay. So. How long was she here? Because I saw that it was pending for quite some time. 246. 246? I don't think this one automatically returns. Okay. 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 And that's what she said, that she was here waiting until y'all were going to close, so... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't have cameras in here, do you? We do. Oh, wait. You got that one over there. We do. We have cameras. Yeah. Audio, too? Or just video? Okay. Perfect. Well, y'all have that then, too. Yeah. So, yeah, this will all be documented formally. And we'll go from there. But, yeah. Yeah, if she comes back, I just uh, let it, just call us, and we'll probably have the supervisor come out with us on this one. Cause I called them, I called mine, and I let them know this is what's up. I mean, she's le she's legally allowed to record me. I mean, she's not, but she's not allowed to. Um, but I told her, do not try and go past that security, because. Uh, in a federal uh, building. Like, this just seems kind of silly. Yeah, you know, um, she really kind of picked the wrong building, and the bigger federal buildings, when they're different agencies, they can walk in. Mm -hmm. And she only had this little space. I'm sure she was disappointed with that. That's why she was so happy to get used because local? she didn't have any footage. <laughs> She's like, My oh, question oh. is, if she disrupts business, where we have actors so, waiting outside, yeah. she can't be getting in any business. The guy that mm -hmm. Dick was trained. So, because this is a federal building, and I'm only got jurisdictions with like not federally, that's where y'all really have to take it take it over from there, right? Correct. So, I'm not. I, she asked if I was going to trespass her from that parking lot. Like, I can't. So. Well, it's sad because we would normally have a uh, federal police here, and right. we only have one, and he got a better job, and he left us. So we're waiting for his place. Waiting for the next one. Okay. Like so, if she comes back, we will cross that bridge. I don't think this is the end of it. So, but so uh, how do we get a copy of any reports? That you can go to the um, any uh, substation throughout the city. The closest one to us is going to be. Um, 8875 Liberty Ridge Drive. Do you know what that is? The, the Zone 3 substation is what it's called. Okay. If you were to Google that, you, you would find it. Awesome. Go in there anytime, Monday through Friday, you know, excluding holidays and whatnot. You guys can get it. Um, I can give you the... Let me go out there. Actually, I'll ask her. Oh, 
for the actual uh, case number on it. Because y'all are my complaint, it's not her. Alright. That's our case number. Perfect. My name and badge number. Okay. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Y'all have need anything else from me? And actually, I need a complaint. Whose information can I put in it? Because whoever I put in it is the one who's going to actually get it. <laughs> True. Because <laughs> you said you would pick it up. That's another duty. What is it? Beaumont. B E A U. Well, if you can't do it, then I can certainly do it. M O N T. No, you can just put my information here. Oh, yeah. said I got to pick it up. It's fine. You can mark that. Lisa Bradley. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're doing it? Or who's doing it? it. Pre- okay. Um, and you are the field agent field here? Officer. Field officer? Okay. All right. I'll put... I'll, mm-hmm. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. She, she was saying she's been... She's trying to educate me. I was like, well, I I appreciate that. Did she say... Did she ask you for a supervisor? She did not say that. Did not say that. Oh, you got it? Oh, I got her first name. And, um... A con- it was basically a consensual encounter at that point. So, what was your first name? Lana. Tori's uh, got her license plate. Oh, perfect. Okay. The, the, the license plate number? The license plate number? Mm-hmm. We got David, so. <laughs> yeah, he's going to. One of the people here is behind her in traffic. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, that's convenient. <laughs> he's, just, he's on his way to happen to be behind her, yeah. Somebody him. Troy is not following you. Listen, if you know, if you know Troy, Troy is definitely not following her. He just has to. There it is. Well, if she if she comes back, then we'll come out and I'll have my sergeant come out because I've never had to, had to do this with, with y'all. So, so, so yeah, the last time we were here, um, it was a domestic issue too between some other issues. All right, y'all. Ha- have a good night. Uh huh. All right, take care. Uh huh. Federal Protective Service, Operator 273, and our recorded line. Do you have an emergency? I, I do not have an emergency. My name is Lana. This is being recorded. But I just want to see. I, I called about almost two weeks ago to report a crime, and I still haven't received any calls back from FPS, from an FPS agent. Um, was the report in reference to a specific address? Uh, it, it is. Uh, let's see. 4121 South Point Boulevard. In Jacksonville, Florida, and it's three two two one eight. Is the zip? Okay, and who am I speaking with? Lana with the J Town Press. Do you know what day this incident happened? Uh, Feb- okay. February second, twenty twenty three. Was it in regards to a complaint against an officer? Uh, well, actually, it was one. It was against a uh, security guard, Paragon System security guard at your um, uh, Citizen and Immigration Services office's office. Oh. Okay, yeah. Um, so the complaint was sent up to the supervisor, so it's uh, in, in their hands now. Okay. Uh, we've done what we can on our end, so it, the complaint for it, you. Is there anybody, is there a phone number I can call to, to talk to somebody? Or, I mean, it's been almost two weeks, and they haven't even called to even see what, you know, my side of the story is, or talk to me or anything, so. <clears throat> right. I, I can't give out any of their phone numbers. I'm not quite sure what officer's going to be handling it. We just send it to the field. Okay, so you sent it to the, is there is there a location here in Jacksonville, by chance? Uh, they don't have a specific FCS office. They just um, go to federal buildings in the in Jacksonville area. Okay. Uh, and we don't have a specific officer for Jacksonville at the moment. Okay. Um, we are working to get one again, but okay. we don't have one in but, Jacksonville twenty all the time. Uh, okay, but uh, but but y'all are aware of the situation. Somebody will be contacting me. Um, the situation was reported. We did submit it um, up to SPS um, okay. for them to handle it. So. Is there a time frame that, that they should be calling me? or? I, I'm not sure. That That's up to how they how they handle it from that point. Okay, and, there, and there's nobody I can talk to to find out any more information other than you? Uh, unfortunately, no. I don't know what officer is going to be handling it. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a great day. You too. God bless. Bye.
I couldn't find any help with Federal Protective Services, so I decided to go back to JSO, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and see if they can help me. Hey, I just want to see if I can report a crime. Huh? A crime? You say you want to report? Yeah, I want to report a crime. I didn't know if there was somebody I can talk to or... Not, not today because the building is closed. It's oh, President's that's right. Day. Oh, that's right. Government's the only one that's, that's closed on President's Day, huh? But if you call this number, those okay. an officer to you. Okay. Yeah, that number right there at the bottom. Okay. Uh, All right. Thank you. Sure. You are. Hey, I just want to see if I can report a crime. I'm actually at your Bay Street location. They gave me this number to report. They could, you could dispatch an officer to my location. Okay, where are you at? I'm actually at your uh, the JSO on Bay Street, on the on the, the four side. Yeah, and I'm on I'm on the four, I'm in the four side parking lot on the four side side. Four side. All right, we'll get the first set of officer right there for you. All right, thank you so much. I did. Is this you? Yeah, it's just me. HQ also. Uh, I just want to report a crime. Sure. Uh, so on February 2nd, and actually I've reported this to FPS, the uh, Federal Protective Services, and I can't get anybody to respond. So it happened at uh, 4121 South Point Boulevard, you know where the uh, U.S. Uh, Citizenship and Immigration Services Office is at? Do you know where it's at? No. no. Okay, it's, I'm it's in Jackson, yeah. You said 41... 21. South Point Boulevard. It's the, uh, whenever you're done right in there. It's in Jacks. Any sweet number or any of that stuff? N no, Just I don't believe so, yeah. Bill? Yeah, it's the, it, you can't miss it. You said it's it the, happened on the 2nd? Uh, February 2nd, correct. And uh, I've been trying to get in touch with the uh, FPS to try to you know see what what's going on, what my options are. But I figured I'd try with you guys and see sure. if I can report it. So, what happened? So uh, I'm a, I'm a journalist, and I walked in there to uh, to work on a, a story, an investigative story. And I don't you said you've never been in the building, but when you walk in the doors, uh, there's double doors. As soon as you walk in, it's a security checkpoint. So it's like a little foyer. You know, they have the metal detectors, just like you guys do. You sure. know, maybe it's a little bit bigger, but. Uh, as soon as I walked in, uh, I, and actually before you walk in the door on the left, on the right hand side, is that they have actually got the federal rules and regulations, okay. you know, for, uh, and it's actually got the CFR, the law, that says that gives me the right uh, and the locations in the building where I can record at, you know, because obviously I'm always recording. Okay. Um, so when I walked in to do my story, I mean, it was almost right off the bat. I mean, I, I'll give you the YouTube address. You can actually watch the whole the whole video. It's already posted. So. Um, um, uh, and the calls with FPS, though at least the first call I've, I've already posted. But um, when I walked in there, the first security guard was sitting at like a little little desk, and he got up and he instantly tried to tell me that I couldn't record in there. And I tried to educate him and tell him, say, look, your rules are, are posted right on the outside of the door. The the actual law, the CFR, is posted on the specific. Uh, regulation that governs what I'm doing recording in the building for news purposes because it says uh, foyers, lobbies, you know, corridors, auditoriums. Uh, the other security guard, the one that assault that I don't know what you guys, I think it would be a, a battery, but uh, he came around through the metal detectors and instantly came at me. I mean, very fast at me, and I had a, uh, a gimbal. You know what a gimbal is? It's a stabilizer for, for the camera. Okay, but so I, like a stick with the camera? Yeah, I, I had, I had my, my phone in there, and it, and it stabilizes my phone as I'm recording. Okay, sure. Um, so I had that in my hand, and he instantly came up, and he grabbed my wrist, and you could see it in my GoPro, because I had my GoPro. You couldn't see it in this one, obviously, but you could see the camera going like, you know, you can see the camera flopping around because the gimbal's got three motors on it. So as he's grabbing my hand like this, the gimbal's going crazy, and I you could see me having to uh, take my hand and pull my hand out of his hand. You know, I pulled his wrist out of, out of my wrist and then he got right up real close to me and they were trying to uh, shoo me away and I was trying to tell them that I have the rights you know to be in there recording uh, I even I even had paperwork in my back pocket that I actually provided to him I was trying to 
tell them why I was there and why, what gave me the legal uh, right to be there. There was uh, there's two DHS memos that are out right now, and there's case law that says that I can be in there to record. So and, and they didn't want to have anything of it. Uh, a JSO a JSO officer actually responded. That's what I was ask. Yeah, they they did the respond. I, I did. Uh, that, well, I didn't contact them. They actually they called them and they actually showed up. Uh, I think his name was Lytle. And T. Mason is a federal protector. Uh, no, he he was actually a uh, Paragon uh, security guard. And as you, I'm assuming you, you may or may not know, but security guards don't have the uh, they don't have the same uh, authority that a, that a, a deputy like yourself would have. They're there to just observe and report. And he came at full force at me. I mean, you can see in the video he came up quick. I mean, he approached me really quick. I can give you my channel that way y'all can see it. I'm, I'm actually with the J Town Press. What is the name? Well, yeah. I don't want to look at it. Okay. But what I'm gonna do is give it to some. Right. Because so, so you're just taking basically the report. it's out of my zone. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the report give and then route it to that zone. Right. And then they'll be doing the follow up. Okay. What is the name of your YouTube channel? The T H E. J-Town, like Jacksonville, J-Town, J-Town, yep, POW Press, and it's on YouTube. And what's the title of the video? Uh, and while you're looking, do you mind if I just reiterate my understanding of Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So, on, oh, what time do you think I had? Uh, that was around... 1400 okay. give or take I mean I don't know you know I'd have to look at the take because they, they closed at I'm sorry not 1400 at 1500 okay. they closed at 1600 and it was just before 1500 because I was there for just about an hour because I was waiting for FPS to show sure. up I kept telling the man you know call FPS you know call FPS call you know whoever you know and they said they were calling somebody and that's when I think it was just after four, I, it was right before like two minutes before four I walked out because obviously they closed sure. uh, so I came out there I was actually putting my gear away in my Jeep and uh, that's when uh, Officer uh, Lytle, I think is how he says his name, showed up. And that's when we sat there and talked for a little bit. And do you so. know if there was a, a case number or anything that he had? No, no, he didn't give me any case okay. numbers, yeah. So um, on the 2nd of February, around 1,500 hours, you yep. went to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service Office located Correct. at 4121 South Point Boulevard. Correct. And you were going in for... News purposes. News purposes. Yeah, like to do an investigation. Right, yeah, right. I'm, I'm a news agency, so as, I was doing a report. As you walked in, you were told by one other officers that work for Paragon. Right, right? A, a security guard. Security guard yep. by Paragon that you weren't allowed to report. Well, well one, one particular one, I forget his name off the top of my head, but uh, but uh, T. Mason was actually sitting behind their little security desk sure. or whatever, and then they had the um, uh, metal detector on the left-hand side as I'm coming in, and he actually came around the back end like, like hot and heavy, I'm talking, he was like, you know. <laughs> Pushed you, grabbed you. Yeah, he, gra he grabbed my, my right wrist. My right wrist. Yeah, and he grabbed it right here on my right wrist. And uh, I actually had to grab his uh, his wrist with my with you know, with my hand to, to pull my hand. You could actually see it in the video of me pulling my hand out. So you can clearly see that he, he, he had came up and attacked me. So, now, did you get in contact with Paragon? Or I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to, but it's almost impossible. I mean, they don't, you know, they don't ever want to. And oh, the title of the video you wanted. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, let's see, where is it at? It's actually the the second one down. It's called Department of Homeland Security. Right, so. Sure. Can you mind just give me a couple seconds? I gotta, sure. I just walk, I gotta go, go to my yeah, car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Get your case car. And, oh, yeah, perfect. And then they'll go from there. You got All any right. questions for me? No, sir. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless. Be safe. So, as you can see, I am definitely trying to hold this security guard accountable, but people are refusing to take action. I will definitely keep you guys up to date on what happens and the results, if any. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Make sure you check out that pinned comment or the description. It's got a lot of information. It's probably going to answer a lot of your questions about this video or about the channel. Make sure you go over there and become a J-Mem. Only 99 cents a month gives you extra access to the J-Town Press. And until next time, let's keep letting freedom ring.